This week on the Computer Chronicles, the wireless revolution. We'll show you the new Merlin wireless modem from Metricom and their cool new wireless web pad. Want to watch videos on your cell phone? That's what's next. We'll find out about it from a company called Packet Video. Bluetooth is what everybody's talking about when it comes to wireless connections between devices. We'll demonstrate the newest Bluetooth technology. And we'll show you the hottest new cell phone, the Sony CMDZ5. And a clever new take on wireless connectivity, the Cybeco, the wireless revolution. It's all coming up next on the Computer Chronicles. Computer Chronicles is made possible in part by PC to PC, the online computer migration service from PC First, moving files, applications, and preferences from your old computer to your new one. Additional support is provided by Upside Events, presenting the Digital Lifestyle Revolution Conference, where people and technology intersect. Hi, and welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chaffe. If there is a buzzword of the year, this year it is certainly wireless. Whether it's web-enabled cell phones or wireless PDAs or Bluetooth, everyone is talking about the new world of wireless communications and wireless computing. So today we're going to show you the latest in wireless technology. And here to start us off is Tim Baharin, Hi. president of Creative Strategies. And we can always count on Tim for great, cool new gadgets, especially in the wireless field. Yep. What, have you brought, uh, what have you brought with you? And let's start out with this guy. Yeah, the first thing we're going to talk about is the new BlackBerry from uh, Research in Motion. This is the 975. Most people are, are used to the small BlackBerry device. Yeah, it's usually a little email device. Right, and this is more email. than that? Yeah, this is more like a PDA in the sense that it does have a bigger screen, but what it really does is have better connectivity to the Internet. So as you see here, I've just checked Microsoft stuff. All right, so I can do more than just check email. I can go on to sort of PDA-enabled websites. Yeah, and specifically things like ABC News and Reuters. and So sports news, stocks, the usual kind of stuff. Right. Like airline schedules. Airline schedules, things of that nature. Now, it doesn't really replace a PDA in the sense it's not a really good it's scheduler. It's not a PDA. Right? It's a wireless information device. It's a device. wireless information device, and, of course, it does email. Got it. And how reliable is the service? Can you get it, use it anywhere? This is an amazing tool. Actually, I use this all over the country. And almost anywhere I go, I get a good signal. So it's actually a pretty good tool for that. How expensive? This one runs between uh, four and $500, depending on the carrier you and get. And the service? Uh, service runs about uh, between 35 and 45 right. a month. Business tool. Yeah, very much business. <laughs> all right, let's go to the next uh, Kyocera phone here. And this is really cool, too. Explain this one. Yeah, this is actually the new Kyocera phone. That if, Again, it's a regular cell phone, as you can see when you look at it. But when you pop down the dial, it is now a Palm Pilot. I mean, it's literally, it looks like the Palm OS in there. It is the Palm OS in there. So I can do schedule and address, etc. But when I go to home, I now have this the screen that I would have. Back just a little bit, then. Yeah, there you go. I have the screen as if I would have uh, like any one of the PalmNet devices. And in this particular case, I'm going to go to American Airlines and check and see what's available on American Airlines. So again, Airlines. the cell phone is the wireless connection here. The Palm is acting like the, the little computer. Computer, here right. It. But what's really important to note about this, this actually represents what I consider the next holy grail in, in the sense that most of the companies are looking at trying to create one device. Bring together that cell, cell phone, phone and the PDA. And the PDA, right. And this is the first one that I've seen that really does a good job. We used to, we had this about a year there ago. There was that old Palm that was shoved kludgy-like right. into that old Qualcomm that, the early phone. Right, come, right. Yeah. But Kyocera really has taken it to the next step. This is a great example of the next generation of these phones, and they're only going to get better as, uh, as time goes on. All right, now if we want to do some real web surfing, okay, the real Internet, you've got the Merlin. That's just a real modem, a wireless modem? Yeah, this is the new uh, Ricochet Merlin modem from uh, Metricom, and it is a wireless modem, but it's 128K, wow. very good speeds. And it's in the Metrocom regions like Washington, D.C., and New York, so and Metro San Francisco. So Metro area, just shove it in your laptop. Yep, put it in my laptop. Full 128K Full access. Full 28K access, yeah. And, and I've used it in L.A., in New York City, uh, all over here in the Bay Area, and it just works like a charm. This is sort of like the ricochet modem that we used to have before. It was a little bigger, and yeah, now like it's a, a PC brick. card. Like a brick. <laughs> right. right, and now it's in this tiny little car. All right, let's grab this thing over here if we can, because this is something else they've just come out with, which is what, the Metro pad, web pad, the Metro right. web now, this pad. This is actually not on the market yet, but this just gives you an idea of where we're going with it. This is the uh, National Semiconductor did a project with Metrocom called the Ricochet mm -hmm. Metro web pad. This will be on the market later this summer, and ba basically, it is a web surfing tool. Full WinCE device. WinCE device, right. And if you, if you tilt it a little bit, the modem, as you saw that I had here, 
we've just popped another one of them in here. Yeah, let me just turn that around and just sort of show here. So here's your little uh, Merlin you just stuck in the PC slot back here. Right. And now I can basically go to the Metrocom regions. Yeah, so let me turn this around here. And this is now a full, I mean, web surfing device. Web here, surfing right? device, right. And has a, it has a virtual keypad. Yeah. So I can go in, type in, you know, www.yahoo.com, and it just comes up. Getting better all the time. Yeah, this is a fun tool. All right, Tim, we only have about a minute and a half or so left. So let's take a look at this baby here, which looks like just a very small IBM ThinkPad, but what's the deal with the paper pad? Right. What this is is, a, is the IBM TransNote portfolio, and basically it's a ThinkPad on this side with the screen. And here is a pad of paper that when I write on it like this, right, what I write on here will eventually show up on here, and now I take, take notes okay. when I go so to... Okay, so you're at a meeting taking notes the old-fashioned way, right. and you have a record of it inside your computer. Yeah, it's a great tool if you want to take notes and, and have it on your computer instantly. Well, and this actually goes backwards if you want to, like, show it at a presentation right. or something like that. And if we fold this whole baby down, right. close it up, and close you've got something smaller than a notebook computer here. That's right. the whole now, deal. Huh? Right. Now I have basically a portfolio that I take off to a meeting. doesn't even look like a computer. God, you'll be the envy of every guy at that yeah, meeting. Yeah, I Tim. will be. All right, last but not least, this is a nice, simple, elegant solution to the person who wants just wireless connectivity wherever That's you right. are, right? This is the ThinkPad, Think Outside portable keyboard We've seen that folding. Before. Sure. When I take a Palm 7 and pop it in, put up my screen, boy, I now have a wireless portable computing device. You got everything. And a full keyboard, full not keyboard, the Mickey Mouse keyboard. Right, real keyboard. Internet. I go, right, go, I go to the little word writing pad on here, go to my email program on here. And now, for less than $500, I have a full wireless <laughs> portable keyboard, uh, PDA, it, basically everything I need yeah. fundamentally it, on the it road. It doesn't have to be that hard. No, great and it, tool. And it works every and time. And it works every time. Tim, thank you very much. Well, the future of wireless communications is much more than just smarter cell phones, wireless modems, and wireless PDAs. If you look at what's happening in Japan right now, we will soon be looking at videos on our cell phone screens. And one company leading the way with that technology is called Packet Video. And this is Fernando Corona from Hello. Packet Video. Hello, Hi there. Uh, let's see what we've got. You've got a compact iPack. So what's the wireless aspect of this? Yeah, typically you would take this device and hook it up to a cell phone mm -hmm. or actually have a modem stuck in here. But, but not only do we work on uh, the Pocket PC devices, within two to three months we'll actually be seeing the sort of application on cell phones themselves. So we're going to demonstrate it here, but this can right. actually be on the new and improved cell phone with a color screen Absolutely. on there. Absolutely. Now, a lot of people make fun about the idea, what do we need to see videos on our cell phone? What's the point of video over well, wireless? But there's some practical applications. There really are. I mean, today on a cell phone you can get WAP sort of applications, but it's text only. Yeah. Imagine actually being able to see traffic. And so All right, well, let's do it. some stuff. Let's get this thing. I'll hold this thing for you so our audience can okay. see it very clearly. And first of all, let's not forget entertainment, right? Absolutely. I mean, in Japan, the big market for this is just fun, entertaining stuff for kids. And what are we pulling up here? So this when is Britney, a Britney Spears um, music video, but it could be any music video. So it could be on a... Can we get the audio on in here? I don't hear any audio coming out of there. Is there some way to get that going? Cause... There we go. There it is. That's the whole deal. Turn it around. There you go. Okay. So, and, and people in Japan are willing to pay for this stuff. Right? They are. They're, they're paying, paying for it downloads today. of music videos. All right, so let's go to another example. Uh, you mentioned, uh, what, traffic, right? Traffic, right. So I can, what can I do with traffic here? So instead of actually wow. looking at traffic in the morning, you can hop in your car, look at a, a live video, and understand which way you, we should go. So this is better than just hearing the traffic report, right. you can, like you might do on your desktop yeah. or on TV, see what the traffic looks like. And it doesn't need to just be traffic. I could check in on my kids as I'm traveling, right. or from a security standpoint, I could take a look at my house, my office. All right, well, that's two good examples. How about another one now? What about... Uh, like online interactive gaming? Can you do that kind of stuff? Yeah, we do. Since you're uh, wireless. There it is, right there. Okay. And this is a multiplayer game where you could have somebody else on a cellular device right. playing a fantasy type. This one is a, a Batman and Robin got type it, of game. All right, let's move on to another example. And uh, again, in entertainment, I mean, you could sort of watch TV on this, right? Yeah. I mean, this, that's what it basically this is. This is Comedy Central right here. And uh, we've got about a hundred different partners. Oh, this is terrible. In, in, the, uh, in the Hollywood area. Kids will never get any work done anymore. I mean, you got your TV in your pocket, right? It works great with animation like this, too. Oh, that is amazing. Because it's all MPEG-4 standard. All right, how about another example? Let me get this back okay. up there for you. The other thing that happens is uh, a lot of times you're on your way to go see a movie, but you're not really sure of what you want to see. The statistics tell us that uh, really 
about 95% uh, of the movies you go see decide about an hour before you go. Uh -huh. So the ability to, to see a trailer and then decide. So we're in the car going to the movie. What movie should we see? Should we hey, see let's it. check it out. There's a preview on this particular movie here. This is The Family Man as an example. And we've actually done some studies that people yeah. will, will view this and then make sure. a decision. Well, this is one of these things not only cool. I mean, you can see the business here. You, know, you That's see right. people making oh, money yeah. off and, this and they will pay for this. Yeah. All right, let's go to another example now. Uh, we talked about TV like watching South Park and stuff. You could watch the news on here if you wanted right. to, right? The nice thing about the news is that it, um, it, it doesn't, this, it this particular one is traffic, but it could be all kinds of news. It could be pushed to you. For instance, you could request, I want to see the results of a, of a, an, el an yeah. election or the results of the stock sure. exchange. This really is the merger of TV and the web, and it comes wireless. It comes wireless. All right, last thing I want to ask you to show is people have made fun, uh, maybe you can stop that thing. People have made fun of the sort of the whole video phone thing for, you know, right. 30 years or whatever it's been, but you can actually do, you know, live video phone messages here, and that really is a practical yeah. thing, isn't it? Let me, let's take a look at this. I'll turn that one around. Yeah. And here, now, you, can, you can actually attach another file to it, so it could be self-generated like this, or you could attach the canned video, say, to my kids. I say, you know, take a look at this, uh, you know, sure. funny sort of South Park. Or, hey, here's the product we just looked at at this meeting. What do you think? Absolutely. Is the design right? That it's a great of... training device, too. What is the trick here? I mean, you are squeezing what normally takes a lot of bandwidth into this tiny little wireless pipe. Well, the, the player that resides on these, these devices are very, very thin, but they also work in conjunction with our server product that, uh -huh. that resides within the carrier network or outside the carrier network. We have an authoring tool that allows you to take applications and content. This is MPEG-4. This is all MPEG-4, and then encode it into our format. And then together, from an end-to-end -end solution, yeah. you get this result. How, how real is this stuff now? I mean, when can I actually use this This stuff? is happening today. We have a, a site called pvairguide.com uh -huh. that's video on demand. So you can actually go in and choose a Pull video clip and look at it I through a device. It. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, coming up next, we'll show you Bluetooth technology in action. Don't go away. The hottest thing in wireless connectivity these days is a technology called Bluetooth and a new emerging wireless standard called Wi-Fi, short for wireless fidelity. Here to show us these new technologies is Paul Fulton of 3Com. Welcome, Paul. Let's, do it. Let's talk about Bluetooth first of all, Gus. We've been hearing about Bluetooth for a year now. We haven't seen too many real applications out there using Bluetooth. Explain first of all what it is and what's the application for it. Absolutely. So Bluetooth is a connection technology that we have to connect devices together. Uh, we use it for cable replacement. Uh, PDAs, cell phones, laptops, anything that you want to connect devices together but don't want the hassle of cables. All right, so the idea is, well, for instance, we have two laptops over here. I want to move a file from one laptop to the other. Normally, I might get one of those cables and link them up and, and do that. I can do that without any wires. Absolutely. Can you show us an example of how sure. you actually do that? We have a uh, small uh, laptop here with a... Should uh, I show the Bluetooth card? Sure. So that's the actual... There's our little Bluetooth. So this is a PC card that okay. has, uh, obviously, antenna that's hidden. So when you want to use it, you pop it out. Okay. And if we uh, look down here, we have a Bluetooth connection manager that uh, ships with the card. So you're going to dump a file from here to here right now? Yes. So I'll go up here to send a file. Simply double-click and pick a file to send. Of course, I can pick any file I'd like. Okay. And um, now the next thing that happens is the connection goes over to this laptop and then asks us, do we want to select a file? All right, so the guy at this end says, yes, I'm willing to accept uh, what you're sending me. Exactly. That way you have some control sure. over what you get. So I'll, uh, I'll do that. And as we go back here, we can see the file actually being transferred. We have a progress bar. And again, this is using real Bluetooth mm -hmm. technology. And pop over here. There we and go. And there's our file. And we can pull it up. Go down. Transfer it over. Okay. Uh, I could have done this with an IR port, though, couldn't I? What's the difference? Sure, you could have. The problem, of course, is IR, you have to line up, line of sight. Okay. Um, the other thing is, IR is a great technology for some applications, but Bluetooth has been designed to do all sorts of applications, higher than just a physical air. It goes all the way up to applications. We can send business cards back and forth. We can connect cell phones, okay. PDAs. And what is the distance over with Bluetooth will typically work? So Bluetooth is about a 10-meter technology. Okay. The short idea range. is to get it short range, low cost. This kind of cable replacement environment. Absolutely. All right, let's go to Wi-Fi next, and let me uh, move this guy out. We had a plug-in here, but that was just for power. So right, nobody thinks, we're, we're, dims nobody thinks we're cheating on this. And uh, bring out that NEC laptop, and that relates to this thing over here. 
And what's the deal here? Now, this is Wi-Fi you're going to demonstrate, right? Right. Wi -Fi, what is Wi-Fi? Sure. Wi-Fi is a technology that's actually 11 times faster than Bluetooth. It's what we call wireless Ethernet. Okay. It allows you to do standard uh, connections to Internet that you would do on, on uh, standard wire Ethernet. So I assume the first real app is the business environment for using Wi-Fi? Absolutely. We have installations going on now uh, for a year now that it's installed applications uh, for all businesses, large and small. Right, so in my office, I might have a little sort of wireless server kind of thingy like this, and then I can walk around wirelessly with my laptop and, and access the, the, the network. Sure. Wi-Fi allows people to be more productive. So in large enterprise, you can have uh, people in businesses and meetings and pull up data at real time. Okay, now, is this real? Are. Can you show me actually getting sure, on the web or something? Sure. This is a laptop. No wires. No okay. wires. Right. And uh, we have a uh, card right here at the end. We can pull up a website. This happens to be the Wi-Fi website. Uh, but essentially, anything that okay. you do... Live on the web and, as you say... No wires. Suspension. Sure. Cool. All right, now what about though, doing the same kind of thing in the home environment, Paul? Yeah, the nice thing about Wi-Fi is it's becoming predominant wireless technology in enterprise and education, and now we're seeing Wi-Fi being installed in the home. I see. So this is sort of the home version of this little white guy you showed us before? Absolutely. This is a home wireless gateway that you could hook up to your broadband well, Let's let you everybody connection. in the back of this thing what the connections are. Sure. You simply hook up power. You hook up your cable or DSL modem, and then you have three switch ports you can mm -hmm. hook up to a computer that's next to it. Now, this device, you notice, has no external antennas. It's very simple to use. As a matter of fact, for most applications, you just simply plug it in and it works. Same idea at home. I can be walking around with my laptop, surfing the web. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, this is similar to the cordless phone technology we had, what, 15 years ago. Right. You could, you could uh, take a phone call and walk anywhere. Well, now with wireless data, you can work on a patio, you can work by the pool, you can work on the couch. Uh, you can be home instead of at work and get stuff done. It's called wireless. Absolutely. What is that gadget you have over there? That Hitachi so, pad, pad thing. So Wi-Fi is also being utilized not just in uh, consumer space and business space, but we're seeing it in uh, public access areas. So this yeah, is let's the... Let's sort of turn that up so we can get a good shot of that. Sure. This is the uh, 3Com Park or the San Francisco 49ers. So what do I do with this? So uh, there's a wireless network that's set up there, a 3Com wireless network that allows you to pull up this uh, huh. website or others to order drinks, to so check like out the So like a rented device like this when I'm at the ballpark? Absolutely. And then access scores, access the web while I'm watching the live game? Absolutely. Like I was doing at home when I was watching now, the Now it's TV. not just at uh, stadiums. We're also seeing applications being put into airports and trains right. and so forth. Re real quick, I just want to take, can I pop this guy out here so we can see what... So this is your Bluetooth card, huh? Sure, this is our Bluetooth card. Again, the idea is that the antenna is hidden. Okay, let's so hold that real break. steady so everybody can see that. And show me the antenna again. Sure, the antenna pops out and That's flips it. up. That's okay, it. Just it Simple to use. All right, thank you very much, Paul. You're welcome. Thank you, Stuart. All right, well, we started out with a look at several cool new wireless gadgets. We're going to end with the same way with some more pocket-sized wonders. And here to help us out doing that is Mike Elgin, former editor of Windows Magazine and former editorial director of Portable Life, a guy who's into this portable stuff. And you've got great gadgets here. And first of all, I recognize the Visor Phone. Tell us about that. The Visor Phone is a wonderful device. It essentially is a cell phone that you plug into your visor and then you use the microphone and intelligence inside the visor to make calls. Let me show you how this works. Okay. I'm going to take this off. So that slot they've been telling us we'd have applications for, we finally have an application. They are here. And you plug it in and, and as you can see, the phone comes right up like that. If you want to hold no that for me. No software to load or anything? That's right. Okay. And so one of the great things about making a call here is I'm going to go to the uh, address book. I'm going to bring up um, your name here. So you don't need a separate carry around your PDA, carry your cell phone, two different databases and numbers. You can dial a call right from your um, address book. That's correct. Once you have the phone number in this device, you can forget mm -hmm. all the phone numbers because this phone number is in for you. I'm going to click yes. It'll turn on the phone and just dial the call. Huh. And uh, the sound is pretty good. You know, it's not as good as some of the better regular cell phones. Right. Uh, but you can also do data, email, web surfing, all that sort of thing directly from the PDA. You can yeah. also put in a headset and use the device mm -hmm. looking Whoop. at it. But there's your, there's, your, there's your call. It does work. That's right. I'll go ahead and cancel that. OK, I'll turn that video off. Um, but it's a, a very easy uh, And use. as we saw before with Tim, there's another way of integrating the PDA and the cell phone into one device. You carry one thing, not two. That's correct. All right, what else do we have here now? You've got that very cool Sony phone. What's that about? That's right. This is a Sony <laughs> CMD Z5, available only in Europe right now, uh -huh. but very popular and what's there. the big deal about it? Well, it runs the Microsoft Mobile Explorer browser. Now, I, I have to say that this is going to be available in the U.S. within a few months. I don't know when, but probably this summer. So a real full-blown browser inside That's here? That's correct. Not only WAP, but also huh. regular HTML. So you can look surfing. at HTML pages on the cell phone. That's somewhere. correct. We can go to the Computer Chronicles site. We can yeah. go anywhere and surf the real web. 
it's a fantastic phone. It, it uses POP3 email and even Exchange email. Mm -hmm. It has a built-in answering machine. Is GSM? That's correct. Okay. GSM phone has a built-in answering machine. You can actually have different messages for different people. Depending who call. on who calls. So that's what I've always wanted. That's right. The business one or the fun one. That's exactly yeah. right. And as you can see, this is a fantastic-looking phone. Very popular. It's, it has a big cult following in Europe. So that's going to be the ultimate little mobile web browser, right? That's yeah. right. Also, I have to point out this jog dial. Oh, that's the famous Sony jog dial. So really yeah, easy to right. navigate. That's right. Pretty cool. Fantastic phone. All right, now uh, show us the headset because that's everybody's okay. nightmare. Is drag. You know, if you don't want to blow your brains out with the transmitter, everybody's that's carrying right. around these these strings that are hanging from people's heads, right? You're in Silicon Valley, you see people driving, and you think, well, they're going to cause an accident. You've got all this stuff. It's it's more convenient than holding the phone, granted, but you've got this cable to worry about. It's a nuisance, yeah. That's right. Now we're talking the about the magic of Bluetooth. Wow. This is a Bluetooth headset from Plantronics. Huh. I'm going to put that on, and I can walk around and talk on from a cell phone. So like Paul said, cable replacement that replaces the wire, that earpiece is talking to your cell phone. It can talk to a cell phone, a PDA, a laptop, whatever you have that's a Bluetooth device. The great thing is that this is safer. There's a lot of controversy about whether or not cell phones are cause cancer and so on. Yeah. This gives you a lot of distance. Up to well, 30 there's feet. no real transmitter in your ear there. That's sure. right. The Bluetooth, uh, people should understand that the Bluetooth signal is, is totally safe. Baby little signal. That's right. And and it looks so, very cool, Mike. Yes, I, it, it <laughs> improves my face enormously. Now, let's turn to our next gadget, which are these I love. This is the Cybeco. That's and tell right. Tell us what the story is on Cybeco. Well, I'm going to go ahead and press and hold turn the escape key to turn on. it on. Okay. This is a, uh, a device for teenagers and, and older kids. It, it does absolutely everything. It has a Spanish-English dictionary. It's an organizer. It has email. So, uh, let me ask you, we're on a little wireless network right now, but oh, I just heard you just did something. Uh, it, mine just it, it just buzzed because they recognized each other. They are now communicating with each other. And one of the things you can do that's fun is games. Let's go ahead and play a game, Stuart. Okay. Um, so you don't have to do anything. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, so you're like going to send a message to me saying, Stuart, you want to play a game? That's exactly right. So we're like we're sitting in class and it's really boring and we're on opposite sides of the room. <laughs> that's correct. And after I send you the answers okay. to the test, um, we can go ahead and play this game. Now, what's happening is it's asking you, go ahead and say, yeah, just hit enter there. Okay, so hit enter and say, that's yes, right. I'm willing to play the game. And we'll go ahead and start the game. What game are we going to play here? This is darts. So you're inviting me to play a game of darts. That's right. And for parents, this is much safer than real darts. Okay? <laughs> so um, it's go ahead and it's your move, Stuart. Oh, okay. Um, so I've got to see if I can just, actually Just hit thing. enter and... Um, okay, I see. So I have to like time that little thing and hit... And because we're wireless, I see where your dart hit. And the interesting thing about this in terms of games is yeah. that they put up a, one game a day, free of charge. You can download, you download every single got an internet connection here somewhere. That's right. You, you hook this PC. up to the PC and download games. Now, there's an interesting wireless element to that. Uh -huh. You can take one of these and hook it up to your PC and run a special application, which makes this the server. Now, the other <laughs> Cybercos are up to 100 other Cybercos within 300 feet range now have an internet connection Amazing. live. This is 99 bucks, isn't it? $99. Sabico. Great for kids. Mike, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, that's our look at the latest in wireless technology. Don't go away. I'll be back in just a moment with my pick of the week. Now for my pick of the week. This is a computer game I've been waiting for for 15 years. Way back in the mid-80s, there was a great game for the Apple II called Robot Wars. You programmed these little robots and then put them into a battle ring, and they would compete against other robots for survival. Of course, since then, Robot Wars has become a TV show. There's even a spin-off called BattleBots. The problem with those robots are they are physical objects. You need to know how to build stuff. The beauty of this new game called Mind Rover, the Europa Project, is you build virtual robots in software. Now, this is not like other BattleBot games in which you simply build war machines and then navigate them. With Mind Rover, it's all about programming. You build the intelligence into your robot and then let it go. Once you put it in the ring, it is a robot. It makes all its own decisions based on the logic you gave it. Programming is pretty easy. It's all point and click and drag and drop. It is a great mind challenge, terrific fun, the kind of game that will keep you up all night long and you won't care. It's called Mind Rover, the Europa Project from Cognitoy, and the game's motto says it all, think more, twitch less. That's it for this edition of Computer Chronicles. Thanks for joining us. If you have questions about anything you saw on this week's show, please check out our website at computerchronicles.org. Hope we'll see you here again next week. Computer Chronicles is made possible in part by PC to PC, the online computer migration service from PC First.
files, applications, and preferences from your old computer to your new one. Additional support is provided by Upside Events, presenting the Digital Lifestyle Revolution Conference, where people and technology intersect. To purchase a videotape copy of today's program, call toll-free 1-888-310-7850. Please specify the show number and the topic.